Okay, people, this is not a scheduled video for today, but Kim was about to leave the studio, this elegant, you know, gorgeous studio. And, and I shot us, my mouth off. And she tells me a story and I'm like, we need to get this on video because you people see, and this is not suitable for work um, because of the, the, or kids because of that shit. I want to like, please. Oh, I know. I'm sorry, but what? so you tell me about your new okay, puppy. So I have a new puppy who's about five months old. He's a little bit of pit and we're not sure all the other mixes as, as what he's made up of. So he's very energetic. He's very energetic. Puppy. So I have decided that maybe taking him to the dog park would be a good way to release some of the energy so that he does not uh, drive me nuts during I the witching hour at nine yes. o'clock at night. Okay. So I take my dog to the dog park. It's the third time that we've gone. And I have him kind of out in the field. We're running around a little bit because I want him to run. Plus, dog point. park, great place to meet men. I'm told. Okay. Not, not from Perhaps. That wasn't my intention, but thank okay. you. So my kid and my dog, that's where I'm at the dog park. Okay. And my dogs. So I'm out running around with the dogs, and this man comes up. Um, he has two dogs. And I said, oh, what kind of dogs do you have? Because, of course, that's your point of interest with people is mm -hmm. dogs. So he tells me what kind of dog he has, and he makes a joke, which is totally irrelevant to me at this point because it wasn't funny. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, oh, that's nice. And then he says, well, what kind of dog do you have? And I said, oh, Bodie's a mixture of la, la, la. And I name off all the different kinds of breeds that he's been recommended as being. Right. And then he says, well, you know you can get a DNA test on the dog. And I said, yeah, it's about $75. And I know everyone tells me to do Seriously? this. Seriously? Yeah. What? That's a topic in itself. Like, really, people, are you really getting DNA tests on your dog? <laughs> Eternity tests It's like, dog? It's like Jerry Springer for four-legged <laughs> Right. Anyway, so anyway, I said, oh, yeah, everyone tells me to do this. And he said, well, then you can see if he's related to O.J. Simpson. But I'm, but I'm like, uh, what? Okay. <laughs> this is where I have to intervene. Yeah. Because, you know, being your friend for a few years, people, you know, the closure and the this and the that. And like, this is your everyday life. How is it that you can't go to the dog park without some jackass Making some comment, like, how do you do it? How... I don't even get the joke, though. Well, first like... of all, yeah, at least be funny, idiot. But <laughs> that's, like, how is that? How do you do I mean, are you so used to it? I can't. I, I... I'm... This was me. Like, she tells me the story. I'm like, I mean. So here's, you... okay, so the backstory for those of people that are just tuning in, um, that's who killed my brother um, 18 years ago, back in Brentwood, California, 1994, alongside Nicole Brown Simpson. So you may have heard of it. Yeah, it was a little, little story. Mm. So, I, I yes, I'm used to it, but I'm 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 still surprised by it. If that makes any sense, because but to make I, a joke like that, like I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But it, it that it, it is it's constant like that. I mean, like in the random, and I don't mean constant like it happens every single day. I mean that. It comes up in such a random way because mm -hmm. for most people, it is just part of our culture. It's right. like a verb, you know, um, and it, it is just, it's a very easy point of reference because everybody gets it. Right. Just for me, I'm like, oh, and I'm standing there and I'm looking around like, I don't even know how to handle this. I don't know what to do. My kid's standing there and I'm suddenly very awkward and uncomfortable. And now I just want to leave, but I'm trapped in the dog park, you know, like, poop like I, it was just such an awkward and the guy <laughs> just how do you make the escape like trying to step around the dog poop and that's like, like when you're trying to make a like, yeah. grand when you're trying to leave a room and then you realize you left your keys in yeah. the room you yeah. have to go back so i just this lamp yeah oh, sorry <laughs> that's an old reference anyway so but, but yeah i mean i again i've been around you several times at this point where it's either been like how do we know each other and like you yeah. know or which, you know, I, I've always said kind of pisses me off because nobody would recognize me from, you know, 18 years ago. They're like, Who's, oh, you look like a middle-aged version of someone I used to know, you know, like, but not you, yeah. everyone, you know, but it, it, it's, it's awkward at best. But when it comes to certain things like that, like, I just can't, this is all I'm saying, people, is that if you the, think about the most personal thing that's ever happened in your life. And then people just feeling completely compelled and sometimes in lovely ways. Yeah. You know, I've seen people you've inspired and who've come up to right. you and, um, but, but to just the, randomly throw out these jokes, it's like, okay. And again, I, I mean, there's a part of me that goes back to that poor guy when he realizes or puts it together or sees my car or something or sees me again, it, he's going to feel like such an ass. No, but you don't think he knew? I don't know. That's the part that I'm like, that's why I looked at him. I'm like, I don't. Are, no, I think he totally know? knew. Really? Yeah. I don't know. There's no way he didn't know. 
I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's confusing to me. That's why I, I stood there and I looked at him. I'm like, I don't, I, are, you, are you saying that you know I'm supposed to go, and this is, this is your way to start a conversation with me, or are you just cracking a joke because it's coming off the heels of that stupid story about the documentary that came out that somebody else confessed to my brother's murder? Mm. I don't know if it was on the heels. I, I don't have any idea, but it just no, was I so No, I think he knew so and thought he was going to, like, acknowledge that he knew with some stupid, stupid joke. I hope he's watching. I hope he Googles your name and it comes to this. And I'm like, hey, guy, dog park, idiot. <laughs> anyway, I'm not always this nasty. I just, sometimes I get all, you know, I get all up in my soapbox and that's so it. You're very protective of me, so I, I am protective. It, but thank you. Idiot. All right. <laughs> we'll see you next time. So Not at the dog park. Bye though. to everyone and that idiot.